this is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. I want to show you how you can make homemade dill pickles. And yes, you can make these at home. They're fun, they're easy, and it takes just a little bit of time, like four to six weeks. But hey, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get some nice, about three, four inches long pickling cucumbers. And then you're gonna need to wash them really, really good. And go ahead and discard any that have any brown or soft spots those would be great to like have tonight for dinner not the brown and soft spot part but whenever we're doing pickling or anything like that we want to go ahead and discard any portions of the vegetables that are soft or past their prime because those are going to make the whole batch turn out kind of crummy so don't use those use fruit and vegetables that are in their absolute prime now i'm going to go ahead and cut mine up now I need to snip off both ends. You do need to do this because sometimes there's a little bit of bacteria on the ends that can interfere with the fermentation process. And since we're actually fermenting these ourselves and we're not processing them through a canning process, we want to go ahead and take a couple extra moments to go ahead and take our time and process our food properly. All right, so once you get all of your pickles cut we're going to put those to the side next we're going to start working on our dill you can buy the stuff they do sell it in stores don't buy the stuff in plastic containers um you won't get these beautiful flowers in there and that's that's what we're really trying to aim for are these wonderful flowers we are going to use a little bit of the green stems as well but these beautiful flowers here is where all the flavor is so we've got a good handful of those we have a few stems and lots of garlic because you all know how I feel about garlic. I love it. All right, so into the crock this goes. Half of all of our vegetables. Now I got my crock in Shipshawana, Indiana. And anytime I get a chance to say Shipshawana, Indiana, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to show you my secret or not so secret ingredient right now. And that's crab boil. Now crab boil is a seasoning blend that we love here in the South. We love to boil our shrimp in there. All right, so into the crock goes some water. Now go ahead and go to my website for the exact instructions and ingredients. So in goes two cups of water. I'm going to put our salt in there. We're going to put some more water in there, and I'm going to give it a nice stir and a little bit of vinegar. Amazingly, this doesn't take that much vinegar. You're going to use the white distilled vinegar. You know, the kind that's in those big jugs that has like a Heinz label on it or any old plain white distilled vinegar works great. All right, so we have half of our seasoning is in there, most of our water and our vinegar. I'm gonna give this a quick little stir and then I'm going to add in my cucumbers. Now, again, this is process takes a while, so you're not gonna have cucumbers anytime soon. Well, you'll have cucumbers, but you won't have dill pickles anytime soon. It's going to take about four to six weeks. It's a wonderful fermentation process here. Now, you really do need to have kind of a cool house to do this in. That really ideally should be below 75 degrees. 70 or lower is wonderful, but you know, it is summertime in most of the states right now, and it's a little bit hard to achieve. So as cold as you can get it, and I just like to shove my crock in a nice dark place and forget about it. You know, you're going to check it every now and then to make sure that nothing's molded in there. If you've cleaned everything properly, it shouldn't be an issue. All right. So I have in my cucumbers, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add enough water to go ahead and cover the cucumbers completely. We really don't want any portions that are sticking out and then some are sticking in. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in the remainder of our seasonings here. And I just wanna give you a look what that looks like in here. So now we need to go ahead and stir this all in together. And I'm gonna have to put a weight on this to make sure that the cucumbers don't flow upwards. So I'm gonna take a soup dish and put it inside of a Ziploc bag so I can get the dish back out because I'll need to check on this periodically and you'll be able to see this in the follow-up videos to this. It's going to take me a little bit to get this one out, but I will walk you through this 
whole process of making homemade dill pickles. So be sure to stay tuned so you can see what's cooking next.